Bora Hansgrohe enjoyed a dream at Giro d'Italia, finishing with not only three stage wins, but also two riders in the top ten overall. That success wouldn't be possible, however, without the men and women working behind the scenes to provide every possible chance for victory. We started in the morning preparing our food for the stuff, for all the stuff. Then we collected all the suitcases from the riders and we went on to the, to the next hotel. We built up all the massage tables, treatment tables. And as soon as this is done, we start preparing for the next stage. There are around 100 bottles each day. It depends always a little bit on the stage, but in general, it's around 100 bottles. We prepare 70 rice cakes and all, eight musettes for the feed zone for the next day. After three weeks, you're almost a professional rapper, huh? Each rider has three, some of four bikes. So uh, our system is on this side, we put the spare parts from the second race car. Uh, here is the spare parts from the first race car. And so at the end is all the race bikes for next, next day, which the riders can race. To Israel, uh, the material uh, what we brought was uh, around 100,000 euros. So. I think here in the truck you can almost double. Every mechanic is overlooking uh, some riders personally that to have a personal interaction about problems uh, and then uh, we have reports after every race uh, to overview the general trends of, uh, of issues and um, I collect all the information from uh, the mechanics and then uh, send it to our uh, suppliers to, to get to the next level then. On the time trial now, we, we have the problem, the start is here in Trento, the finish is in Rovereto, um, we cannot come back, so we, every, every car that is following a rider is not coming back to the start, uh, so we have to make sure that we have enough vehicles, we have enough drivers, uh, everything is organized, um, and uh, then from to finish as fast as possible to start with massage and, uh, and a warm shower then. We are doing uh, trigger point treatments in his uh, upper leg. Try to reduce the, the tension. <laughs> it's painful. Yeah, <laughs> we can already see in his face that it's not that comfortable. So it's not really wellness, this one hour after the stage. And now it's already second week, so more problems are starting. So every day we try to focus also on the back, on the neck, on the spine. So to keep them as fit as possible. Uh, I think it's good when you know, the masseur not only make like massage, it's also like a bit like uh, for the psychic is quite good. You can speak with him. Waking up early and maybe finishing some days midnight or after that even. <laughs> if there has been some crashes and you have to change the frames and stuff like this. So some days can be really long, but in general, just like if you can do the work, what is like your passion, then I guess you have to be really happy. Went to Christian before the stage and uh, just kind of said to him, if I tried something different today and tried to surprise him from behind, 
uh, would you be mad if it, if it didn't work and I got nothing? But uh, I tried something new and he said, well, you know, just follow your instincts. If you feel it's right, then try it. It's kind of a second family that it's not only that you are at the work, but everybody is supporting each other and uh, and that's the most important, to get rolling well. <laughs>